it's nice to have you. Oh, thank you. It's great to be here. So I had the, um, I watched the pilot episode. Okay. Which was really, really good. So let's start off by you just telling me about the village. Okay. The village. It's a, it's a, it's, it's, it's a series named after something that we, we often associate with raising kids or mm -hmm. raising a family or raising people. It takes a village to raise them. Mm -hmm. And their, our village is this apartment in New York. And it um, has people, it deals with, from kids six to adults past 80. <laughs> and it deals with um, different kinds, all ethnic and social. And, and economical backgrounds, how they all live in this building. I am Ron Davis. I am the uh, sort of patriarch um, and super of the building. My wife, Patricia, played by Lorraine Croissant, mm -hmm. is the matriarch. And we, we everybody, it's uh, everybody coming together to help everybody with their problems, concerns, uh, and just to enjoy life and the quality of life better. Where you know your neighbor, you say hi to each other, you speak to them, you say, how are you? And if you've got a problem, you actually want to help them. You want to hear. You have a concern. So, and in this day and age when everything is being mm -hmm. pushed out to privacy, <laughs> we're opening it up and bringing it in. And this is not a blood family. This is a family that you inherit through friendships and stuff. I love that. That is definitely true. Um, we have kind of gotten away from my, I remember growing up. I knew my neighbors. And right. my neighbors knew me, and they would tell my mother if I was out of line, right. and, you know, if we needed something. Right. And that's definitely something we've kind of lost, um, lost in it. society a bit. Yeah. So that was refreshing. And we're hoping that the show can, you know, hope that you got that when you saw the show, mm -hmm. to see how involved everyone is in each other's, in the well-being of each other's lives. That so. definitely comes across. Um, so there is, I know there's one character who's currently dealing with some immigration issues. Yeah, and that's... Um, that's very timely, though. Was that by design? Of course it's by design. Okay. You know? <laughs> that's what I was thinking. I was you like, know, oh. I mean, because these, everyone in this building, they have issues of that are relevant to mm -hmm. today's society, what's going on. And the immigration is huge. It and is. Immigration, and with a child, mm -hmm. you know, as well. So if the mother is, in, you know, she has to be deported... What happens to the child? And so, I mean, it's just, you've heard the horrible stories yes, and the things that can happen. for sure. So that's like a big story for us. I love that you guys aren't afraid. There's still a lot of shows that are worried about what people are going to think, you know, how they'll receive it. So I love that you guys weren't afraid to go there. Right. And um, the fact that you also touch on veterans, you know, and which is veteran, another issue of very concern. Very big. And, very, and we are very careful to make sure that we have a or a veteran who has lost an amputee mm -hmm. on the show, you know, to make sure that we're doing all the things, uh -huh. dotting, cross, dotting the I's and crossing mm -hmm. T's there. He's just great to have there. And and it's, uh, I mean, that's a concern. I mean, you know, yeah. our veterans, we don't want to just, you know, use them up and then talk them about a on the street. Mm -hmm. We don't want to do that. And you can see he's, he's back here and he's trying to pull his life back together. Mm -hmm. And there's a underlying story there as well. Oh, that, I can't wait to see can't it. Give it away, right, but, you know, right. but I can yeah. definitely tell that he also desperately wants to kind of maintain, a, like most men especially, their integrity, their independence, their he masculinity. Does. He does. I mean, my favorite line is that uh, every time, you know, someone meets him, they will say, thank you. Uh, thank for you your for service. your service. <laughs> <laughs> and it becomes a running thing, you know, it's like, and it's nice, you know, it's like, you know, it can be, and he, he handles it well, mm -hmm. because it's it's heartfelt. People really mean it. Right. And, and when you hear something that's heartfelt, you just, you want to receive gotta, it. You receive it. You, know? <laughs> you gotta say, hey, you gotta open your arms and receive love. I mean, love comes to you, mm -hmm. you'd be crazy not to receive right. it. And we get it in all kinds yeah, of ways, right? Absolutely. So I also love um, the older guy. Who is oh, Dominic, oh my goodness, isn't he a card? He's like, oh. Oh my God, so as I'm watching, it's like I'm laughing, I'm shocked, like yes. a second at my heart. I felt like I was going through all of my emotions. And, and that's, and the good thing about that character, and the writing is so spectacular mm -hmm. on this show, that character is like, it's real. If you've known any, I mean, when you get older, mm -hmm. you can go either this way or yeah. that way. And I love it when people 
go that the way. Yeah. So they really just they embrace they embrace their age, but they uh -huh. embrace they embrace their youthfulness in the age. Yes, as like well. they want to keep living. And the humor there is just in the parts of they're right on. I mean, you know, no one is going to be more honest to you than someone who has lived a full life, you know, in their eighties and something. They know what's going on, and they'll mm -hmm. tell you. And Dominic, he plays it beautifully. I can't wait to the audience. I mean, he's got a story. Oh I, wow! He's got a see, there's a secret story coming up for him that's like you're gonna. It's gonna break your heart. You're gonna just laugh and oh. cry, you know. And I get to. And I get to. I be. I'm sort of a, com a confidant for him mm -hmm. in a way, and so we get the chance to do our little tongue-in-cheek things. Oh, I can't you wait. Know, okay, we have to stay tuned. It's coming. Oh, it's coming. It's so oh. good. It's so much good stuff coming. I mean, you know, and the pilot, it set mm -hmm. it up all, but... Uh, Yes, because at week. the end, and I was like, wait, that's her father? And that she was, was like, like, that was like yeah. my mind was blown, but yeah. my heart was touched at the same yeah. time? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. And we I'll... touch a little bit more on that in the mm -hmm. second episode, and then it explodes into the later episodes. Okay. Yes. I will say, very, very well done. Just the fresh start out the gate, it captured me. It made me want to keep watching and that's, waiting for more. So kudos want. to you guys. Thank you so much. So you have been in this game for a long time. Long time. People keep saying that. I, <laughs> that's it, good, it, 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 What did I just say to you? When people right. give a comment, embrace it. <laughs> okay. You have to take it, right? Thank you. <laughs> but what is the secret? I mean, the, the industry is constantly changing mm -hmm. so much. Mm -hmm. How have you managed to, to stay relevant and to keep working? Well, I just continue to be myself. I look for good projects. Mm -hmm. I like to do projects that uh, every age can relate mm -hmm. to. I mean, you know, I like to, uh, I don't want to be stuck in this box or that right. box. I just like to do things that are, and if I do things that are relevant to to, to the beliefs that I have mm -hmm. and, to, and to things that make society or lives better, then I feel I'm going to touch, you know, the fan base out there. So that's basically how I've done it. I just well, you're doing like it. to work. Yeah. I have some old favorites. Obviously, The Wire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the yeah. Wire was really good. Even yeah. coming to America. I know that when you guys were filming it, you had no idea that it would be such a cult classic no. all these years later. No. No, and the same with the wires. Yes. Well, both of them. We you own know, all the DVD box sets. I've yeah. seen every episode. <laughs> well, the thing, that's good. That's what makes the show good as far mm -hmm. as I'm concerned. When you, you don't need to know. If you know, then mm -hmm. maybe you can be a little bit more relaxed about what you're doing. Mm -hmm. If you don't know, you just continue to work hard. You know, it's like uh, someone sees you in something, they say, oh, you're, you're brilliant in that. You're great in that. Mm -hmm. You don't want to start, you know, start feeling your own juices too much right. you want to stay humble and that's that's very important so in those shows both mm -hmm. of them we just tried to put out a good quality product and the rest spoke i would say they're iconic itself. though they're in the yeah. i know the wires like one of the top shows of all time yeah that is incredible yeah, yeah. oh wow so nice yes. i mean things like that they keep you they keep you energized they keep you fresh they mm -hmm. keep you charged yeah they, so, and, and it gives you a new crop of fans who yeah, are just, all, you know, kind of I mean, now. Yeah, yeah, I did this because uh, whenever I feel like I'm losing my younger fan base, uh -huh. I'm looking for, I want to do something that's youth oriented. Like uh -huh. I did this thing, uh, did a film not too long ago, it was about the um, um, the dolls, who are the dolls, the um, American Girl dolls. Oh, wow, okay. And I'm like, I say, oh boy, now I got that, got those young yes. American Girl base fan. My daughter's seven, you know, she's got American Girl. Girl, yeah, yeah she's she, 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 tune in. It's a nice, it's a nice, it's oh, a nice, yeah. nice film. And I did this film called White Chicks, which uh -huh. brought oh, in, yes. which brought <laughs> in, I'm like, you know, I'm like, I hope, it used to be Coming to America, was right. like, you know, yeah. the drama, and now is you know, this guy in White Chicks, they just love this police chief. And Way to keep it diverse, cinemas. though. Yeah, oh, that's, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, that's, that's the key to, that's the key to staying engaged, you know and staying committed, you know, mm -hmm. that diversity. Because if you just get stuck in one thing, it just it wears thin. How many different ways can you do this? So. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you for your time. I love your energy. I love your energy. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll stay tuned into the village. Yes, Tuesday right. at 10 o'clock. Be there. Be, Be there. <laughs>